All right, let's talk about red pill. Oh. The most toxic pill of all. So. Red pill is almost like a, is it that PUA thing? No, that's blue pill. Pretend you have fat bastard from Austin Power. Yes. A blue piller will go and tell him, hey, just be nice and awesome and game and all this stuff and you'll get the you'll get the hot blonde. Okay. Red pill is telling that fat bastard, lose weight, this and that, all this stuff and like you know, change all these things about you. Yeah. In order to get the girl. So like blue pill lies to him, like yeah. says, Hey, just be a nice guy, whatever, and you get her. Mm -hmm. And funny and joking. Sure. Vibe. And then red pill is, is telling him the truth, like, hey, lose weight, change yourself. But it depends what they think is the truth. Yeah. Because when I see red pill, I see a lot of PUA shit. Oh, you gotta work on your, you know, conversational skills, and you gotta work on your game, and you gotta like, you know, treat women like, you know, they're not special. Yeah. And you got to game them. Yeah. Like it's like a Todd Valentine kind of thing. Yeah. It's not a person. You view them as an enemy, but I don't know. As opponent. A, yeah, opponent. Yeah. This is why I can say about red pill because I'm talking about purple pill, money pill, all this stuff. Yeah. yeah. All this stuff. Red pill is bullshit because the guys who are the coaches for red pill, I guarantee you they're all around five foot eleven or six foot two. The yeah. whole RSD except them because RSD are like marketers, these pretending to be dating coaches. Yeah. yeah. But outside of everyone else. Yeah. It's always a tall black, white, or Latino looking guy. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean they have to be they could be a Middle Eastern looking guy who looks like a white guy. Yeah. It could be a Latino guy who looks white or whatever looks like a black guy. Yeah. But it's always some high SMV strong they're not always good looking, that's the funny thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because they always hung up on looks. They always say the looks matter, do looks matter, it's all looks. Is it looks? You're a tall guy, right? Yeah. How yeah. tall are you? I'm six foot two. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want a tall motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So you're being six foot two, right? Yeah. It doesn't even matter about the face. You have a symmetrical face and everything. Yeah. Do you think the height helped you to some degree? Yeah, yeah. So the height helped in the, um, I told you to boost the weight and widen your shoulders. Yeah. Did that help? Yeah, yeah, that, that right away helped. Yeah, yeah. So it's not always about the looks. This is the problem with red pill. For all the Asian guy out there, right? Yeah. The reason why they love the red pill, the RSD stuff, is because looks don't matter. Yeah, yeah. Race don't matter, height don't matter. They think they're looking through the matrix. They think if you do this game tactic, that game tactic, then automatically you get her. But in reality, they go through a lot of flakes and they fuck up a lot. And yeah. they go from one coach to another. You've seen through RSD victims. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they'll, they'll switch up between these guys and that guy. RSD, this guy. Well, first, within RSD, the client will go to each and different one. Yes. Try to find the one that resonates with them or whatever. And then if they don't, then they, they can turn uh, very negative. And then they get this, this chat groups that's all about negativity. Mm -hmm. Like, you're this, you're that, you're short. Go we'll, we'll get, we'll get your legs lengthened in China. They have leg lengthening surgery. That's more like black pill, right? You get to black pill. Yeah, yeah. They get they get down the pills. But before they go there, I'm always the last coach, the last resort that they go to, and they always get late. Yeah. And then they go to the lower gear. They turn evil. The reason why I'm here today yeah. is to help you to make sure you don't get to gear three and get stuck or quit. I think most of them have some type of autism, sociopathic behavior, narcissism, yeah. Asperger's, depression, and attention deficit disorder mixed with some psychotic delusional disorder. Oh yeah. All it's the time. All the time. All the time. We, we've seen clients and, and uh, when they were coming to the boot camps and we're watching them, if we see signs of something, we'd have to quickly shut it off, call the other guys to come and yell at them and do their thing. It's almost stereotypical, a lot of the sheeps, as they call it, sheeps. Mm -hmm. That's why they go to Tyler, that's why they go to Jeffy, they go to all these people. And spam approaching, my god, how many approaches the guy would have? He would, he would, anything, this, 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 that, this, that. And um, Spam yeah. approaching is evil. Yeah. Because there's no calibration in the body language, no skills. There's no social skills. And people in Vancouver, the women complain. Do you remember on Reddit and shit? Oh, I've seen. Oh, man. Yeah. And they even try to blame me, but I has nothing to do with it. My students never got in trouble. Yeah. This is the problem with the red pill. People like crap, Rizma King, like sucks off RSD. Yeah. Doesn't have any student laid yet. Spam approaching, bad fashion. Remember when I told you about fashion the first time? Yeah, yeah, I kept yeah. touching my face afterwards. Yeah, 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 that was good. That was yeah, good. when we were making the first testimonial, right? She kept, like, what the fuck, right? Some random chick, she, she actually opened you. Yeah. She came, she, because she's seen your shoes and all these things. And yeah. Oh, she came out to you and started, she even stood there, like, waiting for us to say something. And I yeah. was sitting there, like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah, you, you, you took her to the, the mall and inside the dollar store and all that. Yeah, we went on uh, you know. And you almost got us a three way, actually. I remember you were like, yeah, yeah, I didn't want to. It was, she wasn't my type, but yeah, even yeah. at that time, because we had to film a testimonial. But yeah. regardless, that was your first mindset towards that red pill may not have all the answers. Yeah. Asians love red pill, all the POAs, because you don't, because looks don't matter. 
because you guys got low self-esteem. You want you want race to not matter. You just think, boom, game results, game results, game results. Fifteen percent results, fifteen percent focus. Yeah. And all the coaches call it a limiting belief. Therefore, they're only showing you one continent. There's always positive stereotypes. Don't buy into all red pill. It is not true. Mm -hmm. Because they're ignoring all the value, 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 yeah. skill, 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 game. Yeah. It's unfair to say that it's all game. It doesn't make sense. Like sales, it's, it, the product needs to be good too. Yeah. You. Yeah. Now to RSD victims, not Asians, that product needs to be good too. Mm -hmm. And people don't want a product that's full of, um, because they say, oh, because if John seems angry, therefore he doesn't have high vibrational energy. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, for the self-esteem, Tyler is vibing low vibrational energy because his manifestation hurts everyone else. They yeah. don't get results. I'm actually more positive than Tyler. I'm the most positive because I help everyone, including you. Yeah. I don't even, I'm not even getting paid for this. Yes. Because yeah. I care about my students. And like today, he didn't want to come. Yeah, I wasn't going to come. I was just uh, in my head and yeah. everything. And then, no, John, John got me out. That's good. And I'm not smiling. But at the same time, that doesn't mean I'm not positive. I'm the most positive. Mm -hmm. Truthful, he's truthful and honest. Yeah. So Tyler is the most negative. Yeah. Because he's smiling, he's a marketer. And you all with low self-esteem look at me with disdain and anger because I'm not being a positive. Being positive does not work because if you got autism, you got all this sociopathic vibe, you should not be using that Gatling gun and making it yeah. you know, to the max. Because the women get turned off. You should learn how to turn off the emotions that are from that low self-esteem. Yeah. in the high ego yeah. then you have a pure social skill vibe then the real vibe mm -hmm. will come through imagine it's like a tumor yeah. Yeah. They don't, that's, that's what they don't understand it's like a tumor oh yeah yeah. if they're walking around like a tumor or a dead fish yeah. Yeah. and they're feeling positive because they're red pill and they're taking action Yeah. they're actually hurting most of Vancouver the women they're turning them off red pill is not the answer no it's not Body language. I mean, how many of them has good body language when they approach Vancouver? None of them. Mm -hmm. They're they're beta. They're up talking. They're saying you're cute, and then afterwards a three minute conversation like a socially uncalibrated guy. Yeah, yeah. That's not red pill. Mm. That is more like unskilled. Yeah. So you gotta think all these skills they have a purpose. For example, high income skills. I taught you how to make a lot more money. Yeah, yeah. And that you became very teachable. Yeah. I mean, he jumped like 10 times, like seriously. Yeah, yeah. So, after one day, after I talked to him here. Yeah. It's like high income skills. Mm -hmm. Copywriting is like the sales letters that you see on my site and other yeah. RSD sites. Yeah. So that's an important skill. Sales is an important skill too. Public speaking with Jeffy and stuff is good at, and tricking you guys, is an important skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, consulting, all this stuff is high income skills. Yeah. yeah. The word is skills. Sales is like game. Improve the product. Mm -hmm. Improve the copywriting text game. Improve all these other skills, public speaking, your calibrations. Yeah. You guys get it? You guys are not looking at skill, 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 game. You're just looking at game, 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 game. Yeah. It's not what gets results. You gotta work on your skills. Pill is bullshit because it doesn't address the value system yeah. or the skills. Mm -hmm. Only the persuasion. Yeah. I know every game tactic there is. Every yeah. opener, every single, you know, transition, false time constraints. I know everything, push pulls. I know all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. There is no tactic I don't know because I field tested everyone's game. Yeah. 18 fucking years, I field tested every system. And I took gold nuggets, all the white dating coaches, 99% was bullshit. From the inner circle, the secret society of players, you have not met them yet. Yeah. But there is a secret society in Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. They're the best pickup artists in the world. Yeah. All naturals, high value naturals. Yeah, yeah. And what, do you think a high value natural have perfect social skills? Uh, yeah. Like, out of 10, what do you think it would be like? 10 out of 10? Yeah. Most of us, right? Normal people would be around like three or four. RSD victims, zero, one. Yeah. It's not conversational skills, it's the big lie. Mm -hmm. They believe that if you learn conversational skills, conversational. Yeah. In game, that's not social skills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Social skills are like small talk. Hey bro, how's it going? Yeah, it's good. Remember how we talked earlier? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, that's social skills. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that should be used for a game. So if we're looking at like parallel, right? Yeah. Skills, social skills, social calibrations. Yeah. When they're thinking game, that should be a separate thread, the last one. Yeah. They're thinking that the first thread, social skills and game are the same thing. Yeah. No, <laughs> they're entangling something because they don't understand what social skills is. Yeah. They are thinking, oh, if I improve, I'm gonna copy John, you know, his lines mm -hmm. in that. 
elite playbook. I'm gonna copy this line, this line. Now these Asian guys with no social skills sounds like robots. Yeah, yeah. They just like, excuse me, like you're a creative artistic, by the way. It's like they knew every line. I don't even remember a single thing that I said in the product. Yeah, yeah. I just use my social skills and once in a while I use a little bit of my game. Yeah, yeah. It's a sprinkle on top. So it's like a train, right? It's kind of like, here's the first train, here's the opener. Uh -huh. Social skills, social skills. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. She's resisting. Now you play a little bit of game. Now the train is like, they're um, teasing. Yeah, yeah. That's conversational skills, yeah. conversational skills, get it? Yeah. And the next one is like, she's acting bitchy again. Another train of teasing. Yeah, Push, yeah. pull, or something. And then it keeps going. Oh, now she's, the train's going well, right? Now it's like, flirt, the flirt train comes. Mm -hmm. Here comes the flirt train. And they're yeah, all yeah. connecting. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. all the same delay is. It's just like social skills train, social skill train. Yeah, yeah. Tease train, flirt train. Yeah. Has nothing to do with this red pill shit, like, yeah. because they're constantly using the game train. It's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. It's not a numbers game. That's the problem. Yeah. And when you're trying to like, um, when you stand up to her, like squaring off, right? Yeah. And you're not standing 45 degrees, she's freaked out. It's like you're using the wrong train tracks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to reroute back to that yeah, yeah, train. Yeah. Mm. So now you kind of get it. It's like a boxer who is out of his defensive stance. Yeah, yeah. Because there's no defense without good body language. Yeah, yeah. If they boost their body language, their game will be like much better. If you talk to 10 people a day, right? Guess what? social skills would be 10 times better because right now you can feel a little bit emotional right yeah but what if that is turned off like meditative meditative kind of in real time yeah you vibe better that's true yeah, yeah. so the body language is connected to the emotions yeah, yeah the emotion is connected to the emotions yeah that's why i got you that back brace for my pakistani mentor yeah yeah big one he's a real guy by the way best pickup artist this guy I mean, all the high value naturals yeah, yeah. all have perfect social skills, all have perfect body language because the naturals, and we're not talking about like natural and direct on YouTube. Those guys are just game. The autistic fucking people. Yeah. They're pretending. Perfect body language, perfect social skills, 10, 10. Yeah, yeah. Perfect emotions because mm -hmm. they can sexualize it. And I'm not talking about, talking about fucking flirting. Flirting is just like, oh yeah, I'm just going to say, by the way, your legs look like something sexy or something like that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, they can flirt sexually and they can go 100% calm and relax yeah and they'll talk slower because they want to be more comfort with her yeah, yeah and they just feel like more like you know she feels more trustworthy and she, they were curious about her I want to know more about you and then she's like oh and she gets all like feeling good and stuff yeah, yeah. and they sexualize it again yeah they're trained yeah. sexualizing comfort 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 yeah yeah but the thing is that it's triple mm. that means whatever comfort that we can feel you can't feel comfort because you're emotional yeah yeah. That's why when you're doing this more at the nighttime, mm -hmm. when you're a little bit more drunk and stuff, right? More drunk chicks. Yeah, yeah. You don't use as much of the emotions or the social skills. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's just filtering. And you're a tall guy, six foot two. Yeah, yeah. Middle Eastern. Yeah. Huge value. This is the real reality of the game. So therefore, this is my critique on Red Pill. Yeah. It is complete fucking nonsense. Mm -hmm. It is nonsense. It is like a half truth. I guess it's all just an industry, like they, because red pillars want you to believe in their industry so that they can sell you books and shit, right? Like, yeah. Like all, like there's entrepreneurs and there's a, I don't want to make mention names, but there's this, uh, there's a there's certain red pillars that I'm that I was I was not I'm last few days I've been staying away from it. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, they they basically red pill you, and then they send you an email notification solution to to what they were saying, and mm -hmm. then they want you to become their followers. He's he's got a big following now. All these guys are pumping in, buying his thing, buying. He's he's just he's just trying to sell his shit, I guess. Think about this way, okay? The high value naturals. Yeah. The ones that I know. Mm -hmm. The inner circle. Do they know anything about like? They don't even know there's a day game industry. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So their game is pure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have no idea. They just think it's social skills, perfect yeah. emotions. You know. Yeah. Perfect yeah. body language. Yeah. And they have a few tactics based on their ethnicity, their height. Right. That's the only thing that's different. Yeah. Yeah. But they maxed out all the other categories. So social skills, hundred percent. Yeah. Emotions, hundred percent. Social calibrations, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit of game, if it's not perfect, guess what? It's mm. enough. Yeah, yeah. Because they also have a good lifestyle, a high value. They're all millionaires. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Easily, because they think like that. Yeah. They manifest from the universe this vibe because the body language is like an antenna. Yeah, yeah. 
That's why I got you that back brace. I'm wearing back brace right now. Yeah, I gotta work on my, my posture. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to be lazy, just hunched over. When you're hunched over, do you feel happy or sad? It's sad, like like worse. I just, like, it's like a remote controller, right? It's like a, like eating and just yeah, walking around, slumped over. Okay, now low energy. Now, now sit up yeah. straight, right? It's like gonna crack my back there. <laughs> yeah, and make sure your chin does not go down too much, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. And how do you feel after a few minutes? Do you have more of a confidence? It feels better. It feels, it, it feels very different. Don't move your head too much. That yeah, extra yeah. movement fucks up the signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an antenna. If it's like a joystick, right? You don't want to move it. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now? I feel better, yeah. It's even uh, even in, um, I don't know if you've seen professional dog shows, yeah. where they show dogs. They they lift the dog's tail yes. and, and head to make it feel more confident mm -hmm. in, in the training. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I, I, I used to watch dog shows so I wanted to buy a dog. Mm -hmm. But um, but if women, right, if you treat like um. You know, you have a leash. Yeah. I know it sounds politically incorrect. Let's see a puppy, okay? Yeah, yeah. Women could be like yelling at a guy. Yeah, yeah. Do not get into her frame. Yeah. There's a puppy. A puppy can treat you very well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you're dominant, when you're standing up straight, she's a mirror. Yeah, yeah. Before, if she, you're not like mirroring a masculinity, she'll pull the leash yeah. and lead you around. Like yeah. a lot of my students. Yeah, yeah. And even like when they don't like the student, they'll chew through the leash and get the fuck away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But however, these puppies, right? If you're dominant like Caesar Milan, what happens to them? Um, they, they control the, the frame of the dogs, right? Yeah. And they respect the dog follows. Uh, so Julian, RST Julian got banned from a lot of countries because yeah. he, he had a program where he would he would choke the girl. That's uh, fucked up. So he'd grab her neck and yeah. say, I want to, you know, like that was one of his tactics and he was teaching all the RST guys. Yeah. And then RST guys are going and choking girls, but they don't know how to calibrate it. Oh, shit. So, um, yeah, like people were throwing stones at Julian, rocks, like he would go into countries, they, they would have to have, and he got banned from countries. Uh, yeah. I think he did it in Tokyo, where he, he was choking girls. Because on, he, uh, he's a psychopath, he doesn't yeah. have any emotions, and second of all... And he's a drug addict. He takes All that stuff. He's I'm always, not surprised. Yeah. Not surprised. You look at their eyes, they have those charisma king eyes, or sociopathic eyes, stressed out eyes. Yeah, yeah. Then you know what they are. So they're deluded. Yeah. Narcissistic. He calls, says, calls himself like Father J or something. Or that's not. Is that him, Julian? Father J? Yeah, RST Julian. Yeah, they they they, they keep changing their names. And <laughs> it's dangerous. It's a cult. Yeah. yeah. So this is a red pill. It is bullshit. We'll talk about all the other pills later. There is blue pill is not good, but it's not bad either. There are some things about it. So when we look at the frames, the six frames. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember what they are? Like husband material is one, boyfriend frame is another. It's no same day lay frame. Yeah, yeah. Boyfriend, girlfriend frame, friend zone frame. Yeah. Um, high status frame, daddy daughter frame, like seeking arrangements. Some of these people are using that shit. Yeah, yeah. And high status, celebrity status. Yeah, yeah. I think red pill is basically for the guys who are trying to go for that fuck boy, same day lay frame. Yeah, yeah. And they're hoping that it leads to a boyfriend, girlfriend if they have higher, if they're a positive stereotype. Yeah. Tall, white, black, Latino, it's easier. Yeah, yeah. For you, even Middle Eastern is a little bit easier too. Like yeah. neutral but high stereotype. Yeah. And so I would say that red pill is more related to that kind of frame. Yeah. So boyfriend for positive stereotypes, other people, same delay. Yeah. But they're missing husband material. So we'll get into the next. I'm very excited about this. My first product is called Elite 30. From hard case to hero. Basically, this is a social skill course, a crash course for those who are not good with social skills. If you are learning, you know, the game, and in like four months, you're not getting a date. There might be some social skills impairment. There's a 30 day challenge and the whole boot camp has been recorded. This is good for guys who are Asians or East Indians who basically have tiger parents. What I mean by that is that the parents force you to be good at school. You didn't learn any social skills whatsoever. And then when you try to do all this gamey stuff, I always believe that the social skills is the cake, the dry cake, okay? And on top of that is the frosting. The game is the frosting. All these people have been teaching the game is frosting. That's why students who have good social skills are better at game than others. Guys who can use their facial expressions, guys who can talk, you know, in the conversation, guys who have a good posture, guys who are like not all over the place, they're grounded. Guys who can, you know, talk with their hands, guys who can do all this stuff, every single piece together. But the guys who cannot do that with the wrong vibe and also the wrong body language, they're fucked. So I made this course for them and there's a lot of people with Asperger syndrome. It's a high functioning autism. It impairs the social skills. That's why I made the course. 
they're, they're my hard case students. You know, 80% of my students so far have gotten polls. They pull go back to their place or her place. 70% of my students got laid. 70 fucking percent. So that's actually the ratio, but there's a 20% that did not pull. The struggling to get dates, there is some kind of social impairment. When you feel so happy and peaceful, right? You project a happy, fun vibe. And the thing is, I want to talk about other vibes. Watch, two meters. You want to be exactly two meters ahead. And your head turns like this. And I make eye contact with her. And then I, then I finally turn the body. Most people will just turn the body. And I say, as you walk a little bit forward, I'll be, excuse me real quick. With a good posture, grounded. I'll tell you the common mistakes people make. When she's walking really fast, let's say she's walking this way, okay? A lot of guys would tap the inner arm like this. Tap and then point backwards, okay? First of all, you just touched a girl in the arm, right? If she does not want to touch, unless you're like a positive stereotype. You're like a tall white guy, black guy, or a Latino guy. She'll be okay with it. But you just tapped her in the arm, and this could get, get you kicked out of Vancouver. All the malls, the campuses. You only get one of three reactions. So excuse me real quick, I have a question. She either smiles, she either just gives you a smirk, like a, a little bit of a smirk, or a frown, like this. So when she frowns, she's unhappy. She doesn't want to see you. So, you want to go indirect. If she gives you like a bit of a smirk, right? You go situational. So you gotta learn how to transition. It will demonstrate it for you. That is the thing you're gonna practice all day, transitions. See, it's actually not that difficult to talk loud. You just have to sort of... What happens if a mannequin, if you're looking like... Here. Okay? If... You know what I mean? If a guy came up to you, right? Let's say you're the girl and it's like, Hey, excuse me real quick. Blah, blah, blah. You look kind of cute, blah, blah. Does that feel intimidating? It does, right? We stand 45 degrees. Okay. 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 Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Normally what you hear is what? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I love Russian girls. Cool, 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 cool. I love Russian girls. Or, oh, nice. Oh, oh nice. That's nice. You see, every single time you say, oh, nice, oh, wow, that you're easily impressed. Your value is here, right? Her value is here. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. After three of them, it's game over. If you always ask her questions or make statements, you know, like a lot of the other dating coaches tell you, statements, 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 or questions, questions, she doesn't know who you are. Match her body language. Match her breathing. And also, if she's blinking slowly, you blink slowly, she talks slowly, you talk slowly. Match the tonality. You sell it as, it's the best coffee house in all of Vancouver, come on. And she'll come and follow you. What happens if she says, like, um, I'm a plant person? You say, oh, come on, the rules are meant to be broken. Like the way you dress, you have this creative and artistic look about you. I was wondering if you were some type of an artist. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm not an artist. You're, you don't have an accent, that's kind of odd. Uh, I'm, I'm from here. Shit, no wonder, that solves all the issues. <coughs> okay, let's go here. Take a picture. Excuse me. I was from over there, right? I was just curious if you actually like a Latina, like you have this Mexican look. Yeah, I'm Mexican. Oh, uh, hi Mexican. Are you Mexican? No, no, no. Uh, I'm Asian. Hi. So it's like spins, spins. Come on. It's actually very fun holding your hand. Yeah? Yeah, just hold it, hold it like this. In, in a lock of <laughs> You know the ice skating rink or something? We'll walk. Let's walk there again. Come on. Names. Your name. I get a hug for that. Because <laughs> the thing is that. See? You can dance. 